Right, we've got a cracker for you. So we've got a clam dish. So we've got these beautiful clams and it's gonna be in like a tomato stew. We've got these nice, beautiful white beans. Got some chorizo in there and some uh, sherry vinegar as well. Really simple, packed full of flavor. And we've got some nice crusty bread, which we're just gonna toast on the side. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. But Mark, you've got clams on the menu to help round it out this week. We certainly have. I've really have. enjoyed Spanish week, by the way. It's been awesome. Yeah, no, it's been really good. We've done some sweet stuff. We've done some spicy stuff. Real tasty food too. Yeah, real, real different stuff. So this is like another take on a sort of a classic Spanish dish. Great. You know, like a nice sort of tomato stew. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got the beans, tomatoes and beans. And then we've just, uh, we spiced it up with a bit of chorizo again, because we Brilliant. love chorizo. And uh, clams as well. So a little bit of a surf and turf in one pot. Nice. So, so we're doing it in one pot. A little bit of oil goes in and we're going to yep. cook off the chorizo. Yeah, chorizo first. Nice and easy. And then we're just going to, so we're going to cook that, get some, um, you know, get it nice and there. Uh, well, not too crispy, but get a little bit of our uh, colour on there. Starting to get crispy, release all those flavours. And then we're going to cut some onion in the, in all the chorizo fat. Okay, and the Spanish quite varied. When I say Spanish food to you, what automatically pops to mind? Octopus. Pineal. Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, seafood, lots, a lot of seafood over there. Brilliant. Uh, you know, it's all nice weather and... Um, it's nice and hot and fresh and simple. You know, nice. that's I think that's the you know that's the beauty of Spanish food. Actually, that's a really good challenge for people at home that are watching. You know, you may struggle each night to work out exactly what you're going to cook for your family. Why don't you just theme up a week like we have and just try different recipes? Because as you've seen, easy to make. A lot of these ingredients are very affordable. You put it all together and it is. Mm -mm -mm. And you get donuts for lunch. And you get breakfast. donuts for lunch. Yes, that's right. And breakfast and dinner, <laughs> if you like a kiwi. Okay, it's cool. So finally chop the onion, finally chop some garlic. Yeah, yeah. so this is the beauty um, of doing it. You know, you can get all your ingredients out on the bench, you can chop your chorizo first. As that's cooking, you know, you start cutting the other things. You know, if you spend like half an hour getting everything ready and um, chopping everything, you know, it just makes the uh, dinner a long, lot longer to, uh, to get there. So if you, you multitask, as we like to call it in the kitchen. All right. <laughs> that's, why, that's why there's two of us in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't want to push it too much. No, that's right. Right, so we're starting to get a little bit of colour on there. You can see the sort of oils are releasing. Um, pop your onions in now. Yep. And then just let them sort of soften in that, all that sort of nice fat and flavour. And I'll give that a minute or so before I put the garlic in. Okay. Just so it gives it time to um, uh, just soften. Nice. And then we've got these, so we've got these beautiful clams, so South Island clams. And uh, really easy to cook. But what we're going to do is we're going to build the whole stew and get all that flavour into it. And then when the stew's nearly ready, we're just going to pop the clams straight in. Right. And then they're going to cook through the stew, open up, we'll steam it, we'll put a lid on, we'll steam it. Mm. Um, and then I'll just release all those flavours in there. Nice. Okay, so the garlic's right, going garlic in Right, garlic goes now. in now. Nice work. One pot means you don't have so many dishes to do. <laughs> I, hate, I hate doing dishes after <laughs> I've cooked a meal. It's so annoying. That's why I get lazy when I cook. <laughs> you can't put what can I do in one, one pot? pot? <laughs> okay. No, but the, but the good thing about one pot is is all those flavours are all going True. in there. So everything you put in, you're going to get all those flavours. Nice know, work. Which is which is great. So we just want to yeah, we just want to sweat this down a little bit just so it softens, and then release all those flavours, and then we're going to start building the um, the you know the, the the liquids for the stew. Okay, nice. So I'm going to pop the uh, and just got some crushed tomatoes here. Yep. So I'm just going to pop them in now. And we just want to sort of, you know, get all the flavours off the bottom of the pan into those tomatoes, bring that up to the boil, and then we're going to put some stock in there. Nice work. Okay, well, we'll continue showing you the rest of this. And, of course, you can get the recipe for our Spanish fair. All of the Spanish fair that we've had on the past week is available at our website. Mark got to show us how to cook these clams perfectly. Uh, he will show us that in just a minute. Right now, Mark, we are making a Spanish clam dish. It's our last Spanish dish of the week. Sauce has been cooking away nicely with the chorizo in it. Yep. What do we need to do now? So you've got the tomatoes. So you're just cooking those down a little bit, intensifying the flavour, mm -hmm. getting all the... Um, you know, sediment off the bottom of the pan, all the flavours of the chorizo into the tomato. We're going to uh, roughly chop some parsley. We're going to get that in and we're going to cook it with this parsley. Okay. And so then we're going to add some stock. Nice. Do you want your tomato to basically evaporate, so to speak? Well, Leave I mean, a little just, bit in there, a little bit of liquid? Just cook down a bit, you know. Yeah. This is this is how we all get extra flavour into things. Nice. This is a top, top tip there for you. Thank you. Right. So, Mark, top tip. There you go. Right, and then uh, some stock. So yep. I pop some stock in there, so this is turning it into a soup. What stock are you using? Uh, that's a chicken stock. Okay, cool. Um, you know, you could use some fish stock as well, because we've got clams in there, or a vegetable stock, you know, anything you want. Even even some water. Okay, If you, cool. want. If you didn't have any stock, you can still do it with water, that's fine. Okay. Right, we're going to start bringing that up to the boil. 
and I've got these beans. So these are just these are already cooked. These are just uh, um, some white beans there out the tin, so they're already cooked. Okay. You know, if you wanted to and you had dried ones, you could you could pop those in now. I put a bit more stock in then and just slowly cook them until they're nice and soft. Okay, nice. But then this just uh, you know it speeds up speeds up the whole thing. All right. That's it. We'll get some um, seasoning in there. A little, little bit of salt dish. and pepper. This is a quick dish, isn't it? Yeah, no, really, really quick. Um, and you know, bags of bags of flavour for, for how fast we're going to cook it. And then I've got a little bit of sherry vinegar as well, so that's going to okay. go in there. It's just going to, you know, it's just going to sort of balance it up and give it a nice bit of sharpness. We'll bring it up to the boil, and then we're going to turn it down, and then we're going to pop our clams in, and then we'll just slowly cook it. Nice. So by the time we finish cooking it down, is it going to be a thick consistency? No, no, or is it going to be like a soup? No, no, yeah. So it's going to be more of a soup. It's going to be. Um, you know, it's going to be quite loose. That's why we're going to do some bread. So we've got oh, some yeah. bread here. Nice. Uh, and just going to cut it, and we're just going to toast it on the griddle pan. You know, nice so you've got work. the bread, you know, crispy, crusty bread, nice to mop it all up. You know, but this is a, you know, really fast, really beautiful dish. Mm. I mean, you could do this with octopus as well. I mean, that'd be beautiful. You know, tomatoes, yeah. chorizo, vinegar, octopus will be absolutely fantastic in there. Okay, nice. There you go. A little bit of oil. And the type of dish you can make a lot of, and you can keep a few clams and then reheat the base the next day and put the clams in so it's nice and fresh with clams. Yeah, the exactly. Next day. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, if you don't like clams, you don't need to put clams in either. Right. You know? But it does give it a nice little edge to the stew. And uh, so just make sure they're all covered. If you've got a lid, pop a lid on. I forgot to bring the lid. <laughs> we, will, we will put a lid on. Um, and then just cook it slowly. And probably for about sort of four or five minutes, you know, keep checking it. And you want the clams to open up. So they'll open up and then you know they're cooked. Mm. Like after that time, um, if they've not opened up, you know, just dis uh, discard them. And then all those juices from the clams are going to go into the soup as well. So, you know, you get this extra hit of, of this sort of salty, um, salty sea. Okay, cool. Just Beautiful. And that's it. You know, that's, yeah. that, I mean, that's how simple it is. A little bit longer. You know? Needs a little bit longer. Hey, you happy with that? Mm. So need more seasoning, chef? No, it's good. Just good. watch the seasoning. Yeah. Because you've got the uh, clams in there as well, so that is quite salty. So just go with a little bit, let the clams open, and then try it again at the end. You can always add more. It's hard to take away. Brilliant. Thank you. Absolutely enjoyed Spanish Week. And if you'd like to try some authentic Spanish cuisine, we've got your chance to win tuppers for two with wine at Maris Spanish Restaurant and Tuppers Bar in Auckland, thanks to the new Say It Arona. Just head along to our Facebook page to enter. Always ready. Oh, is the food ready, though? <laughs> the food is ready. I'm just waiting for you guys. Okay, <laughs> look bring it over. this. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Ooh, ooh, Beautiful yum. dish to uh, finish Spanish week. Yeah, thanks for Spanish week. It's been awesome. Oh, it's been okay, great, so what it? are you going to do to um, on Monday? Well, Monday I've got a real treat, a sweet treat, treacle steam pudding. Mm.